singer-songwriter Katie St. Germain won the Manitoba Country Music Awards Emergence, Emerging Artist of the Year Award last year. St. Germain is local music legend Ray St. Germain's granddaughter, and today Katie is releasing a brand new video, which you just saw right there. It's called The Day Gets Too Long. <laughs> and joining us now is Katie St. Germain herself. Good morning to Hello, you. Hello, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Congratulations Gosh. on this new video. Thank you for having me. Thanks. It's so exciting. Tell me about this new single, and then, of course, the new video. Yeah, so, you know, I, I didn't write this one. I'm still kind of learning um, the ropes of writing and all that, but um, when I signed with the record label that I'm with, they kind of started to have pitches come in from these, like, the best of the best Nashville writers, which was so exciting, okay. and I instantly fell in love with the song and wanted to record it, and so we played around a little bit with it, and uh, here it is, yeah. And so today you are releasing your new video, which mm -hmm. we just got a sneak peek of. Yeah. Tell me about how exciting it is for you to have that done. So wild, like, I, I can't believe it. I also just feel like such a newbie, like, learning all the ropes, but um, such a fun experience, and I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Well, last year you won the 2023 Manitoba Country Music Awards Emerging mm -hmm. Artist Award, yeah. and you were also nominated for six awards altogether. Mm -hmm. What did that mean to you to get to that point? Honestly, so crazy. I uh, I was just humbled to be like in the room with all the other musicians and stuff like that, and to know that I'm kind of standing in their company just felt really um, like humbling, but also validating that I was where I was supposed to be, and yeah. to take home the win was just like insane. <laughs> You're no stranger to the music industry, though. Your grandfather, Ray St. Germain, mm -hmm. of course, he's a musical icon in this community. Yeah. Do you think that influenced your passion for singing, songwriting, yeah. as well as performing? Absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, I grew up, like, pretty much on a stage watching yeah. them, um, watching him tell stories, too, when he was on stage and kind of learning from that. So um, I have kind of been a professional singer for, like, 15 years, just not in the original circuit and kind of honed in my craft, you know, with performing. But now it was time to kind of step into the next role of things and start writing and recording and doing all that. And here we are. So this song is called The Day Gets Too Long. That's the video we just were showing. Yeah. This is uh, sort of the first single off your brand new album that's coming uh, mm -hmm. this summer. Tell yes. us about that. Yeah, so we're we're still in the process of, we've actually been for the last six months like recording a bunch, writing a bunch, and we're kind of just kind of narrowing down to what songs we want on the album and which songs really represent me and feel like me. So um, we're going to figure that out and then you'll have the album released, I think, this summer. And you don't have a name for the album yet. That's something no. that's part of the process as well. How difficult is it to sort of wean out some of these songs and figure out what's going to be on it? Super hard. I feel like each one of them feels like a piece of me, so to be like, oh, we'll leave this one behind just feels wrong. It's amazing. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk about your, um, you're a huge advocate of the Manitoba Down Syndrome mm -hmm. Association. Tell us why you support that association, why it's so important to you. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for asking. So my oldest son has Down Syndrome, Sebastian, and uh, I just kind of got involved with the community here in Manitoba and started volunteering with them. And um, they're just a wonderful commu community and committee, and they do so much for, for us as parents um, navigating kind of the diagnosis and everything. So I just wanted to give back. So um, we do like our baby love event um, twice a year. Um, I'm in charge of kind of hosting that. And then there's so many other awesome events as well that we do and fundraise for. And it's just been Incredible. That's so nice. How old is he now? He's eight. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Yeah. What do you want people to know about what's coming for you next? If someone wants to see you perform live, perhaps? Um, so we actually are performing this year at Festival de Voyager. Oh, nice. I'm, yeah, so excited about So we're on the February 18th in the Forest Tent um, from 12 to 1. So that'll be really fun. It's my first time playing. And uh, more show announcements coming this summer. I don't know if I'm allowed to share them yet, but I'm really, really excited for what's to come. Where can people hear your new music and find your new video? Um, um, so we're actually going to be launching it on YouTube tonight. So oh, make sure, exciting. yeah, watch for that. Um, and then I'm just, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, um, you know, all the, all the cool things the kids do these days. <laughs> and of course, you are going to be at Festival. So if it's not too late, people can buy a ticket and check you out there as well. We Absolutely. wanted to say thank you for being here. Thank and a big you. hello to your grandfather awesome. as well. Thank you so much. And uh, thank, and congratulations. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much.
and you can find that on YouTube tonight if you want to check that out. It looks good, doesn't it? All right, I'm sorry. This